The Asian community has brought beauty, grace, and cultural understanding to the American tapestry. As Americans get to know these rich and diverse cultures over time, new immigrants are expected to know our systems instantly. That is where the Center for Pan-Asian Community Services becomes the valuable lifeline. CPACs, as they are known in Atlanta, provides an important bridge of language, culture, and customs, and the demand for their services is overwhelming. President and founder of CPACs, Chai Wan Kim, explains. People uh, think is uh, you know, so-called uh, the myth of Asian. They think we are well educated and have a two car and garage and big house and we are good at math. And that's really you know myth about Asian American. And 2010 census, uh, one out of three live in poverty. When you see this every day, you cannot just sit still. You need help them. CPEX uh, born in 1980, and uh, there's a few people started this organization with the helping each other who has a language barriers and uh, does not know the system. This as a volunteer basis, they start helping the community people. and. Uh, because I was educated here, and they know um, I can speak English. So they uh, call me as a volunteer basis if they need me. If I have a time, I will come and volunteer for the community. Such volunteers were invaluable to Hei Kyung Huang when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, my name is Hei Kyung Huang, and I'm a cancer survivor. It has been already 12 years since I overcome my breast cancer. I would never forget the painful moments that I had to go through during the diagnosis and treatment. When I found about um, CPAC's cancer support group, it had been uh, five years since I had my last cancer treatment. However, I had been suffered from emotional downturn, fear, and anxiety, which I could not share with the others. I had to go through those difficult moments alone and it made me feel lonely. I was so thankful that CPAC started a cancer support group for Korean-speaking cancer patients and survivors. When the refugee resettle in different states, resettlement agency help them to resettle and they help them for 90 days. That's a very short time for any refugee or any community to know the American culture and American thing. After 90 days, they are just by themselves. Refugee, I have to figure out what to do. And that time, CPACs come forward and help them in different aspects, especially social, like socializing in American culture. We always believe that immigration is not a 90-day um, process, it's a lifelong process. In Metro Atlanta, we have over 250,000 Asian Americans that live here, but um, nine out of 10 of those Asian Americans are foreign born. Most of them will have limited English proficiency. So when they come here, the landscape is different, the food is different, the culture is different, the people are different. So it's a huge adjustment alone in itself for them to get acultured. The services that we provide are very comprehensive. In our building alone, we can speak 16 different languages. So when they walk through the door, the first thing we identify is service in language that they need. Are they here for family services, uh, social services, which includes uh, food stamps application, Medicare, Medicaid, peach care. Um, are they looking for health services? We have a walk-in clinic on site. They can get the immunizations done. They can do uh, several different health checks, mammogram services. Or are they looking for other services like after-school programs for their children or senior programs for their elderly parents? So it depends on what the needs are. We have a one-stop shop model. So whatever their needs are, most of the time we'll be able to help them. Every month our need is growing, our in, we impacted uh, our neighborhood and more communities. And it's, we've been here two years and we are already outgrowing this place. 
because its demand is so high, we run out of the space. And I wish everybody realized and help us to build this new space. Before we moved into this current building, we already knew that we were going to outgrow this space um, by the time we moved in. Um, in the old building, we were all sitting on top of each other. And in this building, we are still sitting on top of each other. We try to limit um, case man two case managers into one office. But as you can imagine, there is still not enough privacy. We have a huge wait list for our after school program. Currently, we have about 150 kids that go through our after school program every day. We have at least more than double that number of kids waiting to get into our after school program and into our summer program. We have four senior wellness programs throughout the week. There is just not enough space to accommodate all the seniors that want to come to the senior wellness program. Our kitchen right now is a kitchen that is probably fit for the size of two, but cooking for probably 70, 80 people at one time. We are very excited that we're venturing into this new phase of our organization's life where we're going to have a second building to our current existing building. We want people to help us invest in this community because our vision is we want everybody to become self-sufficient and to be productive. Our time frame to raise the $4.2 million is about 24 months so that we can stay on track to break ground in 2014 to start constructing our new building. In that new facility, it will be a two-story building. We will have a small daycare facility that will be staffed by uh, teachers that speak different languages so that it will be an international place for our kids. and more activity room so that we can have more after school program. We will have a commercial kitchen so that we can feed more seniors. We will also have a senior day center and exercising facility for our seniors. We'll also have a clinic, a bigger clinic than our one room clinic so that we can serve more people in our community. If the CPAC won't be here, I don't think the refugee will be as successful as they are. Because there is no help. Nobody knows exactly, nobody knows the uh, right answer, but uh, Center for Pan Asian Community Services has the uh, right answer. Taking from a hymn that I learned growing up, No Man is an Island, in order for CPACs to be able to be successful and to have this new facility for our community, speaks volume of not only of what the needs are in the community, but more importantly, if we want everyone in this community, in Atlanta and beyond, to become self-sufficient and thrive, everyone in this um, community has to step up and has to help us accomplish what is needed um, by our community so that we can all become self-sufficient. So by investing in CPACs, you are investing in the many, many lives of the people that walk through our doors so that they can receive the services that we provide so that they can get a hand up to become productive citizens in this country.